Johnson's 1700 bifold door hardware provides innovative features, such as a positive pivot lock, unique breathing hinges, and adjustable jam mounting bracket. So do-it-yourselfers and professionals alike can avoid doors that clatter, stick, or refuse to stay in place. The easy-to-install 1700 hardware accommodates door panels from 3 quarters of an inch to 1 and 3 quarters inches thick, weighing up to 40 pounds each. Sets are available for two door openings up to 48 inches and four door openings up to 96 inches. Opening height should be the door height plus two inches. For a two panel door installation, the minimum finished opening width should be two times the door width plus nine sixteenths of an inch. For a four door installation, the minimum finished opening width should be four times the door width plus seven eighths of an inch. Step one, mount the track. Before getting started, have your opening prepared carefully. Make sure all corners are square. The header is level and jams are straight. Fasten the track to the header, three quarters of an inch from the front edge and one eighth of an inch from the jam. The track is available in aluminum, white, or brown painted steel. Great for complementing a full range of finished doors. Step two, mount the breathing hinges. Lay doors down with the good side facing down on a flat surface. Place the top breathing hinge seven inches from the top of the door with the fingers between the doors and with the long leg of the nylon block on the pivot door. The breathing hinges help compensate for rough handling or overfolding by acting as a shock absorber and extending the limit of horizontal travel. Next, attach the middle hinge so the bottom of the breathing hinge is on the door's center line. Unique breathing hinges have steel fingers that self-align, guaranteeing perfect vertical spacing. Now, attach the bottom breathing hinge so the bottom of the hinge is 11 inches from the bottom of the door. Step 3. Fasten the pivot plates. Take the top pivot plate and attach it to the top of the pivoting door 5 eighths of an inch from the edge closest to the jam. With the plate secured, the top pivot pin should now be secured 2 inches from the pivoting door's edge. Now, attach the top guide plate to the guide door. The guide door's pivot plate sits 5 eighths of an inch from the door's edge with the top guide pin 1 and 1 half inches from the guide door's edge. Note the stamped instructions on the pivot plate. Next, mount the bottom pivot plate in the same fashion. The bottom pivot plate for the pivot door should be 5 eighths of an inch from the pivot door's edge directly under the top pivot. When secured in place, the bottom pivot plate's pin should sit two inches from the door's edge. Step four, installing the jam bracket on jam. Unlike other bifold hardware, Johnson does not require cutting existing carpeting due to its adjustable door bracket. It mounts to the jam and not the floor. To locate the correct position for the 1711 jam bracket, measure down from the header equal to the door height and over 1 and 3 sixteenths of an inch from the opening edge and make a mark. This mark represents the top screw hole position on the jam bracket. 
Fasten the jam bracket with one of the provided flathead screws. The bracket's pivot point is adjustable, allowing it to accommodate several types of doors, even doors that may be warped. Step 5. Hang Doors Your bifold doors are ready to hang. First, make sure the track pivot lock is in the unlocked position. Fold doors and insert top guide into track. And position top pivot pin between pivot lock and jam. While lifting up on doors, firmly pull the top pivot pin into the top pivot lock. Once the top pivot is firmly seated in the top pivot lock, open the doors and rest the bottom edge of the pivot door against the jam behind the jam bracket. Now slide the tab toward the pin, locking it in place. Johnson's positive pivot locks permanently hold the top pivots. This ensures the doors will not fall out of the opening. The doors should now be hanging from the track. Press down on the jam bracket's spring-loaded bottom pivot pin retainer and insert the bottom pivot pin. Make sure the jam bracket is high enough to capture the bottom pivot pin, but not so high that it interferes with the operation of the doors. The jam bracket does not carry any weight. It only holds the bottom of the pivot door in place. If a horizontal adjustment is needed, use the provided wrench until the door is in the desired position. If no adjustment is needed, secure the bottom bracket with screws. Repeat steps 2 through 5 for remaining doors. The 1700 series components automatically minimize the gap at the top of the folding doors with a unique top hanging system, resulting in a more finished look. Step 6. Mount Doorknobs On a flush door, drill a 3 16 inch hole in the guide door 36 inches from the bottom and 1 and 1 half inches from the hinge edge. If you are using louver doors, place the hole to best fit the door's design. For a four-door installation, mount the aligner, piece number 1808, on the back side of the lead doors, six inches from the bottom of the doors. Step 7. Adjust Snubber. Slide the doors into the close position. Slide the snubber until it touches the top guide. Now open the doors and guide the snubber 1 8 inch closer to the pivot jam. Tighten it to the track. Your doors should now snap shut and stay closed. Pull the knob, and the doors should open easily and in a smooth motion. Trim Installation For added strength, attach a 3 quarter inch by 3 quarter inch thick strip of wood to the header in front of the track. And, for an added touch of refinement, drop the casing to cover the 3 quarter inch by 3 quarter inch wood strip to make the door's track virtually invisible. Visit www.johnsonhardware.com for information, including trim detail, the 1700 series bifold door hardware, and other space-saving solutions from Johnson Hardware. All products are backed by a lifetime guarantee.